from TMJ4. Welcome to the City of Waukesha's 59th Annual Christmas Parade, Peace on Earth. Remembering those we lost and celebrating the strength and resilience of this community. Today, we are all Waukesha strong. Live from downtown Waukesha, in partnership with the city's Chamber of Commerce, here are your hosts, Susan Kim and Steve Shamraz. And good afternoon, everyone. We are coming to you live on this beautiful December afternoon for our special coverage of the Waukesha Christmas Parade. We are set up on Main Street in Waukesha. This is a place they call Five Points. We are smack dab in the middle of this year's parade route. And though, of course, there is a painful mark left by last year's tragedy, there is also a deep desire to honor the strength and togetherness of the Waukesha community. So many stories will unfold over the next two hours or so here in Waukesha. To tell them, we have crews lined up up and down the parade route. We're going to begin with our Shannon Sims. And Shannon is live at Cutler Park, where a lot of the floats are starting the parade this afternoon, and she is joined live by Waukesha Mayor Sean Riley. Shannon, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, we have started to walk in the parade. I want to show you just how dapper Mayor Sean Riley is today for the Waukesha Day Parade. He's got his tails on and he's got some shoes that we're going to ask about later because I know to walk a mile in those shoes is going to be a little difficult. A mile? What do you mean a mile? I didn't know it was a mile. <laughs> <laughs> but on a serious note, today is a day that we celebrate a parade that you have participated in years after year. Why is this one even more special? Well, um, as everyone knows, this is uh, special for the city of Waukesha uh, because last year our parade was a scene of tragedy. Um, what we have now is the community coming out to support those who were injured, uh, those who uh, uh, are, you know, recovering, and uh, it's pretty much the whole community. And then the community comes here and they show those, ev all the people that are suffering that they're behind them. And as we are walking, there is a sea of people on the side of us, on both sides. How does that make you feel? Uh, it, feel it feels great. I mean, this is, this is amazing. Um, I'm really looking forward to this, and we're going to have a great time and celebrate community. All right. That is the mayor, Sean Riley, here participating in this year's Waukesha Christmas Parade, being Waukesha Strong. Thank, Thank you, you, Mayor Thank Riley. Thank you very much. Okay. And the parade route, uh, yeah, let's call it about a mile or so. He'll be <laughs> he'll be putting quite a bit of uh, wear on the bottom of those shoes. All right, Shannon, thank you. So here's a closer look at the parade route this afternoon. It starts at Cutler Park, goes down Wisconsin Avenue, and then onto Main Street, which is where we're located, and then it will run down onto Barstow and finish up once again at Cutler Park. And as the mayor talked about, it has been a tough year for the community, but the theme of today's parade, Peace on Earth, is about honoring the resiliency of the people here in Waukesha. We have heard it so often over the last year. They are Waukesha strong. We have heard that so much over the last 12 months. We have been Waukesha strong every day for the past year. As a community, we continue to work on healing we are doing it together. What does Waukesha Strong mean to you? It's the people. People in Wisconsin are the most generous, wonderful people. And Waukesha, it, it, you know, it's got that small town feel, although it's grown so much. But it's wonderful here. We are all one. We're all a team. We are all there for each other um, through the good, the bad. It's family. That we will never falter based on what's happening. Our community has our backs no matter what happens. This year, the support is coming from everywhere, and some are joining the tradition for the first time. Just let them know that, you know, my heart's with them, and I just, I can't imagine what they went through. That's Karina Longfellow, a volunteer coming to Waukesha from Indiana to carry a banner in today's parade. And we talked to someone else who'll be watching all the way from Canada. I think a lot of the posts across the country, across the continent, across the world, have just been, we feel a part of the community without being a part of the community. Two, three, Granny Strong! Woohoo! 
And now let's take a live look. This is a replica of the Main Street Memorial for the victims of last year's tragedy. This is one of three different memorials planned in Waukesha. This one is on Main Street. It's the Waukesha Strong Heart. The architect said he wanted a heart because that was such a strong unifying symbol for this community after what happened last year. Our Andrea Williams is live at Cutler Park as well, and she joins us live now. And Andrea, I have talked to so many people this afternoon, and, and they told us our, their hearts are with the Dancing Grannies during the parade today. Yes, that is very true, Susan, and uh, these ladies are full of just joy. I've been hanging out with them as we kick things off, and we got to hurry because the parade is taking off, but I'm with Kathy S., who is an OG, that's an original granny, yes. Yes. yes, and then I have Kathy G., who's a new granny, Yes. Hello. and I just want you to talk quickly about uh, your Facebook post this morning said this is probably one of the most important dates in the Dancing Granny's history you would talk more about that you know what it is um, I've been with the dancing grannies for about a year and a half and having lost ladies last year but we have gained so many more so this is so important because the few of the few of us that are here that were at the parade we have so much support from the brand new grannies that are here and we could not have done this without them yeah, that they is. Are, there are strength in numbers. Mm -hmm. And speaking of numbers, uh, quickly, you're wearing a number four on the back of your hats today, right? Um, well, some the original grannies are actually yeah, wearing okay. four. Okay. Yeah, talk about that. The four is actually for the four fallen grannies and uh, Bill. So we have our four on our hats. All right, well, we thank you. We're going to let these ladies get started, but we're going to end on a very happy note. I've taught these ladies the Beyonce challenge for TikTok. Are you ready, ladies? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Go, girls! And there you go. Milwaukee's dancing grannies. They are absolutely lovely. Take it away, ladies. All right. Of course, and, Andrea Williams can get the dancing grannies to do a TikTok challenge. And <laughs> right there, we see encapsulated all of the emotions we are going to, to see and feel yeah. today. There is... Um, that grip at your heart as we remember those who aren't here this year because we lost them in last year's parade. But then there's the commitment to carry on and to still bring the joy that the dancing grannies have brought for so long uh, that they're gonna have fun out there as well as they hold uh, the four they lost yeah. last year so close to their hearts. Talking about holding them ho close to their hearts and remembering them today. Let's take a live look. The still walkers just hey. walked by us. So they are signaling the start of the Waukesha Parade. If you can see them going behind us. I've always been amazed by people who can walk on stilts that tall. Yeah, they kind of uh, lead ahead of everybody else in the parade. They're kind of the five minute warning or so. So as we see the stilt walkers come by, we know that the rest of the parade is not far behind them. Uh, for the victims of last year's parade, this is going to be a day full of emotions, including for Dave Sorensen. Yeah, Dave Sorensen is the husband of Jenny Sorensen, one of the dancing grannies who was killed one year ago. And this year he was with the grannies, or he will be with the grannies in the parade. I had a chance to talk with him after the recent remembrance ceremony for the victims and asked him what he wants people to know about how he is doing. Well, as my wife would say, angels watch over you. That was her favorite saying. And Dave also told me that it's been a tough year, but he has been able to get through it with the help of his kids and family. And you saw his granddaughter Brooke yeah. there with him. And uh, he was feeling blessed that he had so much family that he could rely on during a difficult year. Everybody has pulled together in any way they can over the last year. Yeah. So many of the entrants in this year's parade are going to be honoring those who died and those who were injured and some who still continue to recover from what happened here last year. So some of them will be honored by a very special truck 
in this year's parade. Yeah, it'll be hard to miss. It is a moving mural in every sense of the word. Every detail painted on the plow blades from the Waukesha Strong symbol that you see there to the blue lights and six hearts with angel wings. It was a team effort thanks to 11 students from Waukesha South High School. The plow truck driver, Terry Rutledge is his name, and he is doing his part as well. Some of the students that were painting on the plow were actually in the parade. So it was kind of emotional for them and for me. I, I shared my vision and the, the plow kind of evolved as they were painting. Rutledge has been driving a truck with the county for more than 40 years. He says this honor is one more way to serve his community before he retires a lifetime of service. Well, the excitement in downtown Waukesha is certainly building as the parade is making its way toward us. We're going to take a short break right now. Family fitter, bath fitter, style fitter, bath fitter, you fitter, bath fitter. We install beautiful tubs that fit perfectly over your old one with no mess or demo. Get the bath you want in a day with quality that lasts a lifetime. It just fits. Bath Fitter. Call today and get 20% off up to $1,003 or no interest until 2027. It's okay. I'm here. You are everywhere your kids need you to be. Hey, sweetie. I'm here. No matter what comes their way. How are you feeling today? People are being mean to me. And at Children's Wisconsin, so are we. It'll be okay. We're here. But we depend on your support. Donate today at childrenswi.org slash help kids. The best Christmas decorating always starts at Milliger's. Only Milliger's has 90 almost filled trees on display, including our own exclusive designs with our amazing 100-year lights. You'll love our fabulous selection of lights from micro lights to brilliant bursts for outdoor decorating. No one has more ornaments than Milliger's, and all your favorite collectibles and glorious gifts are here too. Everything we do makes Christmas a little merrier for you. We're Milliger's Racine and Sturdivant. Toyota Thon is on. Now's the time to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid. RAV4. Tundra. And more. Wow. What's next? I knew I was forgetting something. She's a wizard. Toyota. Let's go places. And welcome back. We are back live at Five Points here. And this is the uh, City of Waukesha Chamber of Commerce. And they are honoring and remembering those who lost their lives during last year's parade tragedy. And they also want to promote comfort and strength to the survivors and the community as they continue to heal and find peace. And uh, that memorial float just passed us at our position here at Five Points. As you can hear, it's very quiet. This is uh, this is the somber part of the parade. We know there's going to be a range of emotions we feel out here today mm -hmm. as we move through what happened last year and process that. But then it's going to be a party as well as the <laughs> dancing grannies are reminding us there's a reason to come out and dance and celebrate as well. And you can see the memorial float passing behind us as well. Um, a beautiful tribute to those who lost their lives and were hurt. And you talked about the silence and there was also applause because people wanted to say we are here with you. You can tell that they are supporting the float and the people that the float stands for. And there's a little bit of a gap here. Next up will be the Grand Marshal all first responders honoring everybody who came to the rescue last year after parade tragedy. Right now we want to go to our Cassandra McShepherd. She joins us live now along the parade ride. Hi Cassandra. Hi, Susan. I am here at Veterans Park where Wisconsin hits Maine and the parade makes that turn towards you guys. I'm here with uh, this lovely family here. Tell me your name again. 
Lena. Lena. I had it up until this moment. With Lena and her family. Now, Lena and her family have been coming out here for almost 20 years, and they bring a very special thing with them every year. Would you like to show what you bring? We bring our chili. <laughs> we put cook it in a crock pot every year, and then we also bring a large thermos of hot water, and we make cocoa too so we have our dinner here while we watch the parade yeah and i'm seeing sour cream i'm seeing cheese toppings i'm seeing everything here yes we usually put the onions on top but they got put in this year <laughs> so now i've said that you've been coming every year you were here last year as well right yep and with your nursing background you were able to help out with the last year's tragedy correct would you talk about that um yes we actually typically sit at the beginning of the parade and this year, the parade route got changed, so again, we're sitting at the beginning of the parade. Um, as many people are aware, it happened further down the parade. So once we kind of realized what was happening, and my in-laws sit further down as well, and with phones, we kind of figured out what happened. And my daughter, who is a CNA, and I got in one car, and we actually drove around to come down and help many of the injured. So when we talk about Waukesha Strong, it's Lena and her family, of course, and that chili that we're talking about. I'm gonna toss it back to you guys because I was promised a bowl of chili. So I'm gonna get in that pot, toss it back to you, Susan and Steve. All right, Cassandra, thanks very much. As we continue to watch the floats here, we just had the Grand Marshal, which is all first responders represented by Fire Chief Steve Howard. Police Chief Daniel Thompson and Mayor Sean Riley also just passed our location here at Five Points. And you start to hear the cheers come out for the first responders as they are getting uh, their due from those who have gathered here for this year's Waukesha Christmas Parade. Following them, uh, an antique engine from the fire department. We'll see that as it rolls by. Um, I believe we do have a couple more modern pieces of firefighting equipment <laughs> coming first. Yes, they certainly have passed us at this location on Main Street. And you can see we have a pretty nice crowd, five to ten people deep in spots. Many of them told me when I talked to them earlier this afternoon that they were here a year ago and they really wanted to be here today to show their support for the community and to move forward in the healing process. And you can definitely here you can hear it in the crowd as it changes from that somber silence to the cheers of support for the men and women who came to the rescue last year uh, one of our many roving reporters along the parade route is mr james grow he always finds some someone or something interesting to see let's see what he's found for us now hey james Hey y'all, so I'm at the end of the parade right now. What I really wanna show you is just how many people are here. Just like Susan was talking about, five, 10 people deep. I mean, people are still coming in to watch the parade. It's incredible, the spirit of everybody here. I got to talk to some of the people who are said they wanna come here, turn the page, move forward as a community and celebrate as a community as well. Cause this is a Christmas parade after all. Up here, um, you can see a Jackson Sparks Brewers jersey, a sign that says, we love the grannies it's really cool to feel this spirit i mean it's somber but everybody's together everybody feels a sense of unity that we are coming back from a terrible thing we're turning the page and we're moving on you can actually hear some of the cheers just like steve and susan you were mentioning as the first responders are coming down but like you said i will have some interesting people some families some spectators to interview but for now i'll send it back to y'all all right, James, thanks so much. Uh, it's uh, so inspiring to hear from people here about the different reasons why they wanted to be at the parade this year. Following up next in the parade, this is the Model A Ford Club of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin chapter. The Model A Ford, if you did not know, was built between 1928 and 1931 and replaced the Model T that most people think about when they think of uh, a vintage Ford automobile. This is definitely an attention grabber, isn't it? I like the sound of the horns yes, they've got there. Yes, and the bright yellow. They have 166 members in their club. It's located in Southeast Wisconsin, and the members range from 21 years of age all the way over to 80 years of age. They consider themselves a family consisting of four generations. 
Let's get back out to our uh, Andrea Williams. Uh, she is at the uh, other end of the parade route. Who'd you find for us, Andrea? Well, I have two fellows who are really a big part of what's happening today. I've got Mark Wenzel and also Steve Kanan, and they are with Signs and Lines by Stretch. This would be Stretch. And the theme this year is Peace on Earth. And you guys played a role in this wonderful float that you see behind us, which is depicting that theme. Uh, tell us a little bit more about it. It was quite interesting. A lot of fun designing it and uh, getting it all set up the way we wanted it and get it going. It, it was a good time. We had a good time enjoying it. Yeah, and what goes into making something like that that really uh, gives that symbolism of what this is all about? A lot of forethought, and then we got, got it going in the right direction, and just then it was fly by the seat of our pants and <laughs> make it better. Yeah. And uh, really, you guys are one of the sponsors, so it has to really mean a lot for you to be a part of something so special. Stress has been part of this community for over 35 years in business, We're interacting with a lot of the people you see here on a daily basis, not a weekly basis. Um, and it's just been fantastic that they let us become part of this parade and become a sponsor to help them celebrate the new year. Yeah, well, I'm sure I speak for so many people when I say thank you for all that you've done, and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Back to you guys. Andre Williams, thank you. Right now, we continue our parade coverage as we take a live look now the Catholic community making their way down Main Street at Five Points here. As you can see, they are holding the banner, and uh, they started uh, participation by the St. John Newman Catholic community. Last year, they were in the parade as the Catholic community of Waukesha. And we see them walking through the streets here of downtown Waukesha holding <laughs> candles in their hands. Uh, a walking memorial to all of those hurt last year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And you see smiles on their faces as they are here to really and show how strong Waukesha is. And they're walking with their pets. Mm -hmm. They have babies in strollers. And many wishing the crowd Merry Christmas as they pass. Merry Christmas. Yes, thank you. And a little bit further down the road, we know what's coming, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be both a fun moment and a poignant moment as as we see them come our way. We know the dancing grannies are not far away. As our camera pans the crowd here at Five Points, uh, taking a look at members of the community who have come out to share their support and love for everyone who is in the parade. Many of the people in the parade this year were also here last year and wanted to make a point of returning in 2022. Shannon Sims, a little bit further uh, back down the parade route. Let's check in with Shannon while we wait for the Dancing Grannies to come to our location here. Hi, Shannon. Hey, Steve and Susan, you know, it is like 36 degrees out here, so it's freezing, and we're trying to stay warm, so I decided to come hang out with the Extreme Dance Team. This is Sandy, who's also in the parade, and you've got a number of girls out here. Yes, we do. We've got, we've got some that are home with the flu watching, and we have a group with us today, yes. And why was it so important to bring them out? Um, because... We've been in the parade for many years, and um, we were in the parade last year, and of course a lot of our girls were injured, so we're out here to just cheer everybody on. Truly saying that you are Waukesha strong. Yeah. Yes, we are. All right, again, that's Sandy with Extreme Dancers out here in the parade. I'll send it back to you guys at home base. All right, Shannon Sims walking a little bit ahead of uh, the TMJ4 Storm Chaser, which is also rolling in the parade this yes. year. 
So let's take another look here at five points if we can. We are awaiting the dancing grannies who are making their way to the central location of the parade. The parade is about a mile long and uh, you can see all the people here who are expected. I know city leaders were expecting there to be really uh, maybe perhaps one of the largest crowds they had ever seen for the Waukesha Christmas Parade. Uh, there, there was a worry that some people might not be able uh, to come out this year. They just didn't have it in them after what happened last year but it is so good to see so many people mm -hmm. packing the streets as we walked in at 11 this morning the streets were already lined with blankets and chairs as people wanted to make sure they had a spot a good spot on the parade route yeah, I was surprised to see how many chairs and blankets there were out here so early in the morning, but people said that they wanted to make sure they had a good spot to watch the parade and, and make sure that they could share their support with those in the parade this year. Let's go to our James Grow. He's further down the parade route talking to folks uh, who are watching the parade. Hi, James. It, it's a little tough to hear y'all as the Catholic community of Waukesha is coming by. You can just see we're getting some cheers. We're getting a lot of positivity here. So it might have been a little hard to hear while you guys were tossing over to me. But it's incredible to see this kind of community, this kind of vibrancy. Right now, I'm with the Southern Waukesha County Canine Search and Rescue Team. Tell me, what does it mean to be here this year? I think it's a, a big step that needed to be taken, especially after the experiences that we had last year. I think we need to have and remain Waukesha strong. And the way to do Waukesha strong is not back off of, of what we had. We got Because you were here in. last year, correct? I was, I was right on the corner, right over there. We, what was that like? I was, I was all, all experienced that particular night. It's, mm -hmm. we were there. Um, I lived in Waukesha all my life and I'm 69 years old, so I, I know all this. We've been to the parades and everything yeah. like that, and it was just initially started as a family thing. And how does it feel to come back in the, the community and the feeling now? It's beautiful. Yeah. It's great to see all the people back here. And, you know, granted, there's still some that are having it and taking hard times from last year's event, but um, I think the, the traffic, the people here tonight are just just great, just horrendous. What are you hoping to accomplish with your presence showing up here today? Like I said, we were here last year, and initially when the incident started, we went into operation as as a unit. Um, we put our, our dog, there was no need for the dogs, so we secured the dogs and started working with law enforcement. Mm -hmm. I also have uh, 50 years in the fire service, 30 years of which was right here in Waukesha, yeah. Wisconsin. And uh, we just kind of let it go, and. Yeah. We started heading down the road as far as, you know, people. We, we saw people, instruments from yeah. Waukesha South High School Band just flying in the air, um, chairs, lawn chairs and stuff like that right. flying in the air. So ultimately what we did is I had <coughs> my son right, here, right. my grandson, and actually my nephew was down on the other end. He uh, tried to help the, the dancing well, or any of that but it's so great that you guys are here and you have your dogs because I know the dogs were actually saying hi to a lot of the people here and it kind of adds a level of comfort and support so thank you guys for being here talking here okay. we'll send it back to you guys thank mm -hmm. you thank you all right James Grow thank you for that and as you can see here, the Milwaukee Dancing Grannies are making their way through Five Points, members carrying photos of the victims who were lost last year. They have been shaking their pom-poms since the 1980s, the dancing grannies, back in the Waukesha Christmas Parade.
On that moment, we're going to step away for a bit. We'll be right back with more live coverage of the Waukesha Christmas Parade after this. Seventy-five years ago, a new technology came to Wisconsin and Milwaukee. It was called television. Since that day in 1947, after decades of live coverage and countless stories, TMJ4 has had one goal, to make Milwaukee a better place for everyone. And while so much has changed throughout the years, our commitment to you and this city remains the same. TMJ4, in the community, for the community, for 75 years. Steinhoffel's holiday sale is going on now. Steinhoffel's has all the latest styles in stock and ready for delivery. We have something for every style and every budget. Start with store-wide savings of 35 to 50% off. And for a limited time, make your purchase more affordable with Steinhoffel's 72-month financing. It's Steinhoffel's holiday sale. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffel's.com. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. People don't want to see you in their neighborhood just when something bad happens, yeah. right? It's the dawn of a new day. Just highlighting these amazing events and festivals and things that are happening. If we're able to give everybody all the information before they grab their keys and walk out the door, and at the same time they feel good about it, that makes a good day. I think we accomplish what we want to accomplish. Us showing up in a neighborhood when the good things are happening does make a huge difference. And welcome back as we continue our live coverage of the Waukesha Christmas Parade. You are looking at the uh, Country Christmas Float by the Ingleside Hotel, which is that large hotel right by the freeway there in Pewaukee. They are known for their big annual holiday lights display. It's nice to see them bringing a little bit of that to us here <laughs> to the at Five Points in yes. downtown Waukesha. Oh, and there's the Grinch. Oh, no, but the Grinch is being a good person this I year. I hope this is uh, post uh, life transformation Grinch. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Uh, apparently, the Grinch this the Grinch this year is bringing holiday cheer, okay, spreading good. holiday cheer. We 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 want that Grinch, not the beginning of the story Grinch, the <laughs> the third act Grinch, please. <laughs> Let's go to our Marissa Wallison, who is along the parade right route. Hi, Marissa. <laughs> Hi, Susan and Steve. Yes, we're actually pretty close to you because we're only about two uh, floats behind the Grinch. I am with the Storm Chaser, but I was catching up with this group in front of me. Um, this is the Grace Lutheran Church, and I want to talk to Pat. I'm going to run. This is a live parade route for you, you know. You got to move. Uh, but this is Pat Backus with the Grace Lutheran Church, and she is pretty much the, she she organizes all this. Tell me a little bit about Pat. Why are you here this year? We, we come to the parade every year to represent Grace Lutheran Church here in Waukesha. This is maybe our 15th year, we think. And uh, we were in the parade last year at the very end of it, so we didn't really see a lot of what happened. But we're going to be here to support our community and anybody needs uh, any support, check us out at Grace Lutheran. And what does it make you feel like to be in the parade this year in particular? It's important for us to not let something so evil win. And that's part of why we're here, because we want to be strong for the community of Waukesha as well. Well, thank you so much, Pat. Music is great as well. So great to have you guys again here this year. I'm going to send it back to you, Susan and Steve, and we should see you in just a matter of moments. All, All right. right. Look forward to seeing you, Marissa. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the cadets of Waukesha West as they're coming through five points here. Let's take and a you live can, look. Yes. They sound great. Can we... We listen in for just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's just listen in.
Waukesha West. Now it's a party. <laughs> Award-winning band, and boy, did they show why they're so good and this And following afternoon. behind them, that is Carroll University marching in the parade yes, this Pio year. Yes, Tay Pio P. There he is. Ring that bell. <laughs> Carroll University incorporated in 1846, making it Wisconsin's first four-year institution of higher learning. The bell again. It's in Waukesha. It's an independent, co-educational, comprehensive university grounded in the liberal arts. We're going to get to Andre Williams in just a second here. But first, we got to look at what's coming next. This is a rolling calliope. This is Whistle on Wheels. Waukesha State Bank, Bank is bringing that to us this year. This rolls in 50 parades across the state every year. This is a good old-fashioned calliope. Listen to that. cacophony that's going on here at Five Points. Let's find Andrea Williams and see if it's just a, a little calmer there. <laughs> it's cold out here, but there are a lot of smiling faces, and that's what it's about at the end of the day. Found a couple of spectators who live right up the road here in Waukesha, CJ and Sharon, and they have these cute doggies. I've already made a friend here. Anna, come see me, Anna. Yeah, Anna seems to be my friend. Talk about just having this great seat and kicking off the holiday season, seeing all the parade participants. It's nice to be here and see everybody out and about and moving on. Yeah, moving on. And you've got the pooches out here. This is Lance, right? It is. Yeah. And so Anna and Lance are sitting on your lap like two good kids said, yep. bringing the kids out, so to speak. They definitely think they're children. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are having fun so far. We are. We're enjoying ourselves very right. much. Well, I'm glad you're out here, got you a good seat, and there are a lot of spectators out here having a great time and a lot of doggies as well. Back to you guys. Oh, they're so cute, Andrea. Thank you. We just had the Remax float come a, by. A special thank yes. you to the Remax float, which is those flames you saw shooting up. Those were hot air balloon baskets uh, firing <laughs> their burners, and uh, it warmed up a good 30 degrees. Yeah, here. actually <laughs> made a difference. All right, oh. I mean, here is the Grinch. The Grinch has come to I his mean, senses this year. Yes, just wanted you to enjoy the fact that he is here. He came to return the gifts he has taken from the Who's. They are on the Santa sleigh team, a group of people that came together during COVID to keep Christmas alive. And behind the Grinch, this is Grace Lutheran Church, has been a part of the parade going back to 2014. They were uh, here in 2021 as well. They have served the spiritual needs of this community since 1909. Now let's get to our Brian Nisnanski, who is all the uh, on the parade route for us. Hey, Brian. Uh, hey, Susan. I I'll tell you what. Um, this is really special down here. I'm just overwhelmed by how many people are down here. The kids are here. It's just good to see the smiling faces, right? What's your name? JJ. JJ, and he's got a mouthful of candy, I think, too. How about my, you? My name's Gideon. Gideon. <laughs> and your name? Landon. Landon, and what's your name? Wyatt. Yeah? Are you guys all live in Waukesha? Yeah. No, I live in Pewaukee. Oh, you're in Pewaukee, close enough. But yeah, how are you guys doing? Is this fun, right? Yeah. It's pretty cool to be here again, right? It's really uh -huh. Honestly, I think that's maybe my second favorite part of the parade. Other than and the giant and iron hot air balloon, mostly because I'm on flipping TV. Whoa, that is pretty cool. I got to bring that excitement every night when I do my forecast. All right, guys, have a good day, okay? All right, take it easy. Guys, again, this has been amazing to walk this route. It's been, um, you know, obviously a, a range of emotions that we all, you know, feel and, you know, are conscious of, but uh, that there again, to be able to sit and see the kids smiling uh, means a lot. You know, Susan, you got your kids. I have my young daughters too, and um, you hold them tight every night. That's for sure. 
You're, you're right about that. And as a very special afternoon reminding us all of what's important in life. Right now you see our TMJ4 Storm Chaser and members of our family here walking in the Waukesha Christmas Parade this year. The vehicle in which Brian Isnansky can often be found, the Storm Chaser. <laughs> Right now, this is the Infinity Exteriors a presentation of the float. Oh, and Brian There's Nisnansky Brian right there waving at us. <laughs> just passed us. This is Infinity Exteriors' first year sponsoring and participating in this parade. And right behind them, the Waukesha Extreme Dance Team. They've been a part of this parade for more than 10 years. They have dance teams from the age of two all the way through the eighth grade. And it is so great to see them back in the parade this year. We will. Very poignant here as they pass our location. You could, you heard the audience here cheering members of the extreme dance troupe, where uh, several members of that team were seriously injured in the parade. And here's last a bunch year. of pet therapy dogs as well. We have to say hello. I never knew we could get our jib cam that close to the ground, but that is fantastic. A dog's eye view yes, of the 2022 Waukesha Christmas Parade. We're going to leave you with that as we step away for a quick break. Always can be tough on your home. Trust Edelman to restore the beauty of your carpets and furniture. Our certified technicians precondition all carpets for best results. It's Edelman again. Edelman. Ready, Dad? All charged up. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright with a special offer on select Ford vehicles. Choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected. Even if rates go up before your order comes in. Thanks so much. And that's how Ford is helping you, I'm proud of you kid. shine bright. <laughs> now get an F-150 with 2.9% financing for 60 months and 500 retail bonus cash plus 500 accessories cash. For over 75 years, Edelman has been Wisconsin's trusted name in cleaning. Find out why more businesses choose Edelman. Your home cleaning friend, it's Edelman. And we are back as we continue to enjoy this year's Waukesha Christmas Parade. You are seeing uh, the floats here. It says Peace on Earth. That is the theme of this year's Waukesha Christmas Parade presented by Signs and Lines by Stretch. It is so great to see things develop here as it's getting dark. We started here around 4 o'clock where there was still quite a bit of daylight, but as we're getting darker, all the lights on all the different floats and entries in this parade are just lighting up the streets. It is so good to see. And you see so many big smiles on people's faces as well. Merry Christmas. Let's get to our Shannon Sims who she is along the parade route. Hi, Shannon. Hey, Susan, you talk about peace on earth. That is the theme of this year's parade. And I just found this beautiful float right here. This is representing People's Park, also, also Oscar's frozen custard. And I have the brains behind this amazing float with me right now. And gentlemen, we're going to have to walk and run, I see. How, did, how long did it take you to come up with this float idea? Uh, Sue, Sue did it in about three weeks, but then it took a little over a week to build it up. And Sue, when you thought about this, what was the most important thing you wanted to convey to everyone as you were walking down? I think the most important thing is we wanted to give the down, downtown Waukesha, Waukesha community an aha moment. Like, we are back. Here is a big hug. Let's do this together. 
Let's do this together. That's what it's all about. Again, we are along the parade route. I love the floats. And take a look and go to Oscar's Custard, right? <laughs> People's Park. And People's Park. Downtown Waukesha. Right down in downtown Waukesha. Susan and Kim. I mean, Susan and Steve, back to you. <laughs> Frozen <laughs> Custard. About. Thanks, Frozen Shannon. Custard. What are you talking about? Hey, custard is good any time of year, isn't it? At least it won't uh, melt on you <laughs> on a day like this. Uh, Cassandra McShepard is also along the parade route. Let's check in with her. Hi, Cassandra. Hi, Cassandra. <laughs> I am along the route. Hey, Steve. Hi, Steve. I just want to know, I want you to guys to know you have some amazing floats coming your way. I am along the road, a little bit before you all. I am here with Heidi Bauer. Heidi is a Waukesha resident and works with the school system. Heidi, first of all, thank you for talking to me this evening. Talk to me about the road from last year to this. It's been healing. I think the blessing about being part of the Waukesha community is we rally around one another. I say Waukesha is the biggest small town you'll ever live in. We all know each other. Many of us are related. And this year has just been about healing. And as you can see the parade, the people have come out. They're cheering one another on. And we are just excited to see how we continue to go forth and grow our community. And well, well, two things. The theme is uh, peace on earth, yeah. which is, of course, a very needed sentiment. Yeah. But also, Waukesha strong. Yeah. It's powerful to bounce back in just one year and a minute after something like that. And you all lost one of your children as well. Our, and, uh, with the school community. from the school, yes. Yeah. Right. In our community, we did. We had many children who were in, injured. And the other part of the trauma is just seeing their friends injured. And But I think because we, of the community we are, families and friends are wrapping their arms around one another. And they know that the season is about peace. And that is where we're at, just wanting to heal that time with our community. And doesn't the parade, I mean, in all its glory, and it's very fabulous, doesn't it kind of feel like a victory overcoming? Yes, very much so. I was here last year, and like I said last year, we, we saw bad things happen, but I also saw many people coming out to help, and everybody just rallied as much as they could and helped everybody that they saw. So that is what I remember about my community, is how helpful and um, how much we do love each other and want the healing to continue. Well, Heidi, thank you so much for representing Waukesha Strong. I'm going to let you get back to the parade. Again, Susan and Steve, like I said, brace yourselves. Has the fire, uh, the, the, the air balloon truck gone by you yet? It's really warm. <laughs> There's a lot of really exciting things yes. coming your way. I'm going to toss it back to you for now. All right. Cassandra, thank you. We look forward to them. And one of those uh, floats is the Waukesha South Marching Band. You are seeing them here performing as they make their way through Five Points. Let's just spend a minute and, and uh, listen to the Waukesha South Black Shirts. the Waukesha South black shirts. Uh, following close behind them, that is the plow we have told you about. That is the Waukesha County DPW tandem plow truck. 
The plow and the wings were painted by Waukesha South High School students in honor of those lost or injured in last year's Christmas parade. And you can see the beautiful artwork there done by many of the band members from Waukesha South as a message to all. Terry Rutledge is the 43-year-old plow operator for Waukesha County. He's also a Salvation Army volunteer chaplain, is with the snow plow this afternoon. And let's get back to James Grow along the parade route to see what he's got for us this time around. Hey, James. Yeah, and I'm here with Dane right now. Dane, how are we feeling tonight? I'm feeling good. His sister was in the Waukesha West Band. Do you see your sister? Do you see her when she was playing? Yeah. How'd she sound? She sounded great. There we go. That's that's what a little brother should say. You also gave me this payday bar. They threw out some candy, and you gave me this payday bar. Why'd you give me the candy as well? Why are you sharing with me? Because I thought it would be nice. That's the perfect. I, Mom and Dad are smiling big right now. They're like, "Oh yeah, that was the perfect answer." Tell me, what are you? What's your favorite thing about parades like this? I think it's the music because they they practice hard and they put a lot of effort into it. Yeah, yeah. Is this something that's pretty fun to be a part of? Yes. Yeah, and this is this looks pretty cool. You liked the fire too, right? Yeah. You said, what would you have done with that with that fire? I would have roasted marshmallows on it. <laughs> I guess next time you got to bring some marshmallows, right? Yep. Cool. Well, Dane, I, I appreciate you talking to me. I'm glad. Hey, I'm going to eat this payday soon because I'm hungry. Uh, so I appreciate you, Susan, Steve. Back to you guys. Thank you. All right, James Bro, thank you. Right now you are seeing the Waukesha Blazers, of course, Jackson Sparks, eight years old, was a member of that program. And so many people this weekend have been wearing their jerseys for Jackson. Uh, that started on social media last year as a way to uh, show love for the Sparks family as uh, Jackson was such a fan of baseball. And it's just uh, snowballed from there as people uh, have uh, flooded social media again this year with pictures of themselves wearing their jerseys in honor of Jackson Sparks. And his parents, Aaron and Sherry, as well as the Jackson Sparks Foundation, they are granting eight wishes, Christmas wishes, in honor of young Jackson Sparks as well. We're going to step away for a break as the Waukesha Christmas Parade rolls on. Toyota Thon is on. Now's the time to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid, RAV4. Tundra and more. Uh, how did you? Magic. Right now, during Toyota Thon, get 3.49% APR for 48 months on a new Toyota Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Bath fitter doesn't just fit your bath. With hundreds of custom designs, it fits your style. With our unique tub-over-tub -tub installation in just a day, it fits your schedule with no demo or mess. With quality that's guaranteed for life, it fits your high standards. It just fits. Bath Fitter. Call today and get 20% off up to $1,003 or no interest until 2027. Ready, Dad? All charged up. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright with a special offer on select Ford vehicles. Choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. Thank you so much. And that's how Ford is helping you, I'm proud of you kid. shine bright. <laughs> this season, choose Flex Buy on a 2022 Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% financing for 66 months at your local Ford dealer and shine bright. Do you want to be a snowman? How about that? You That's should be so in this fun. this float right here if you want to be a snowman. <laughs> Not sure where this is, uh, whose camera is bringing us this, but I know what's going to come our way sooner or later as we sit here at Five Points. Does that say Christmas Parade to you? Or what? It certainly does. So is that that's Frosty? Frosty would be doing pretty well on a night like tonight. Frosty and all his uh, friends. Yes. 
lighting up the darkness here in Waukesha as the uh, sun sets, but everybody seems to be in really good spirits. People saying Merry Christmas, a lot of applause with the floats that are rolling on by. We're about one hour now into this year's Waukesha Christmas Parade. About half the floats have passed by us at this time. I promise you, we will not leave the air here on TMJ4 without showing you the arrival of Santa Claus into Waukesha. Well, because Santa's arrival in the Waukesha Christmas Parade makes everything official, right? Yes, it the, does. It is not an official season. Christmas parade until we see Santa. <laughs> this century fence truck that is passing us by. I, we've it seen a lot of Grinches. Yellow. We've seen a lot of Grinches today. Well, we see a lot of Grinches whose hearts have been turned. <laughs> So true. Third act Grinches, as I like to call them. Hello, everybody. Merry Hello. Christmas. Wet paint. I, ho I hope they're not striping the roads tonight. <laughs> Andrea Williams, problem. let's check in with you. <laughs> I'm over here with a group of kids that I met just walking by. What were you guys chanting to me? Candy! 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 <laughs> And they really have gotten plenty of it today, right? Yeah. This is Balin, Fletcher, and their friends. And I want you to tell me, Balin, um, you've been out here having fun, but why is it important for you to be here tonight? Because I like to, like, how everybody's honoring, like, all the people who died in the parade and, like, how everybody's spreading love and peace. That's what it's all about, right? Love and peace. And, Fletcher, I need to know, have you been a good boy this year? Yes. You have. What are you asking Santa for? Uh, a drone, Pokemon and baseball cards, <laughs> a plushy whale, and that's it. And that's it. That drone might cost Santa a pretty penny, but hey, he's been a good boy. It's all worth it. You guys want to tell everybody happy holidays? Happy holidays! Back to you, Susan and Steve. See, the secret is Santa buys in bulk. That's how he gets a deal well, on all the drones and the other cool technology. The Santa better start shopping around, though, because drones can be pretty expensive. I'm sure Santa's on it. Why are we worrying about it? Thank you, Andrea. This is a live look right now. This is the Liberty Dance Center celebrating 15 years in business. You can see all the, they are dancing and singing. It's so nice to see and them And we'll here. just spend a moment with them now, won't we? Center to the Dancing Grannies. Let's get to uh, Brian Niznanski, who is with those Dancing Grannies. Okay. Okay. Hey, Susan and Steve. Look who I have here, right? Aren't these one of the bravest bunches that we've seen all day today? Wave them. The Dancing Grannies are here. And we just finished the parade route. Um, we've been talking about it all show long. Uh, um, just a range of emotions that, you know, I wouldn't even be able to relate to. Um, but how did it feel to be walking out there? Maybe we'll start with you. It was amazing. I just felt really strong and powerful and determined more than anything else. And, and what's your name? My name is Doreen. Doreen, thank you so much, and thank you all. And how about you? How did you feel out there uh, today? Um, I was on the parade last year, yep. and I recognized the place where it happened. And, yeah. Uh, it's very emotional, but we got through it, and we're doing it for the ones we lost. And um, carry on, keep it's, strong. It's, it, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing thing. Let's go over to this side, Marissa. Thank you very much, um, Marissa. Again, this is. It's something that it, when you get down here and you feel the emotion and the range of emotions, it's, it's hard to ignore. And it's been really, really special. So thank you. Marissa. Thank you. And I, I'm sure also, um, I know this is a lot, you know, a lot of buildup. A lot of stuff happens before the parade. It's, it's obviously you guys prepared an amazing routine or set of routines too. And now that we're done, 
do you feel like a, a relief or how do you feel what about you um, I feel exhilarated yes. absolutely exhilarated. yes <laughs> awesome and what is your name <laughs> my name is Kathy G Kathy Kathy yes an exhilaration that's not a, what I was expecting I was expecting relief what about oh. you now that it's all done with Oh, I feel great. It was wonderful. We had a great time. We love it. We waited all year for this. We yes, practiced yes, yes. all year. Yes. <laughs> and I absolutely love it. I was saying uh, to another one of your members, I'm a former Palmer, and I honestly look up to you guys. Once I heard about you when I moved here, I'm like, there is hope to do this one day. And you guys did a fantastic job in the parade. We want to thank you guys so much for being part of this as well. Maybe give them a shake and a big cheer. Tell us, say hi to Susan and Steve. They're running the hi. Thank you. Oh, it's so wonderful to see the smiles on the dancing grannies' faces talking about what an exhilarating experience it was to dance in the Waukesha Christmas Parade. And the Girl Scouts of Southeast Wisconsin have just walked past us. And Susan, what is that I hear coming up next? Is that yet another marching band? Of course, the Waukesha North North Star Marching Band presented by uh, Meyer today. And don't you love a marching band? 15 time state champion, Waukesha North North Star Marching Band. Let's listen in. talent with the Waukesha North Marching Band. Thank you for being here. Let's get to James Grow. He is walking with uh, Jackson Sparks group, the Waukesha Blazers, as uh, they are another very emotional group walking in this year's parade. James? I don't have anything. All right, All we've right. lost our connection with James Grow there, so we'll hang out with the North Star Marching Van just a bit longer. Everybody. Now you are seeing Taylor's People's Park, which is a popular restaurant here in downtown Waukesha with the message, we are Waukesha strong. All right, we have reestablished our connection with James Grow, walking with the Waukesha Blazers. James? Hey guys, yeah, it's, it's pretty loud. There's a lot going on right now, but I have somebody special with me right now. I'm with Jeff Rogers, the president of uh, the Blazers. Tell me, tell me about this moment right now. Man, it's, it's been difficult. So we had over 50 people sign up to walk with us tonight. Yeah. And that's the most we've had in many, many years. Right. Um, a, good, a good cause, obviously, to do it. But yeah, once, once we got downtown, there's a lot of emotion, for sure. What is it like that the community has um, come together to rally behind the Sparks family? It's phenomenal. So the Sparks are some of my closest friends. Love the love that family. Um, the community coming together means everything. Jerseys for Jackson, obviously, this weekend has been phenomenal. So, yeah. yeah. Did you ever imagine this many people coming out, this kind of show of support for the Sparks family, for everybody? No, we made 400 flyers tonight. I think we got through those in the first half of the parade before, uh, yeah. So, if you're looking for Blazers baseball, go to our website. <laughs> what kind of message would you want to tell? You know, we have so many people from all around the country and the world watching right now. What would you want to tell them about? the community about the blazers what do you want to say to them we're stronger love each other help each other support each other that's the message and, and we do this together we come back together we love everyone Thank you. and this is that show of unity that is it's Waukesha strong right absolutely Waukesha strong look at our group right now yeah stronger together so many people it really is incredible Jeff thank you for talking to me I really appreciate it Susan Steve back to you guys thank you. 
All right, James, thank you. Some very poignant words from the Waukesha Blazers organization. And um, I know that they feel like they are Blazers strong. Thank you, James. Again, that the waves of emotions that we see in this parade this year as we remember those who were lost last year and uh, celebrate just being back together as a community this year with the joy you would expect in a Christmas parade. Shannon Sims is with some of that joy. Hey, Shannon. Hey, Steve, you know what? I thought I was the most popular kid on the block because I had all these kids, but they simply just wanted to say one thing. Merry Christmas! And I have Trinity here. What's the best part of the parade? Probably the dancing grannies and my brother and all the love and support everybody has for the last year's victims of the parade. I love it. And Jalen, what about you? Um, mine is all the like songs. I love Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, right? Yes. Um, the best part of the parade was um, the reindeers and the dancing grannies. Awesome. You heard it live here from Maple and Wisconsin. <laughs> I'm going to send it back to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, I think you are very popular. Thank you. And the kids did so great. Thank you, everybody. This is the Waukesha County Community Foundation float that you see passing by us here right now. And followed behind them is the Alsier Soccer Club. They're a soccer club for uh, the youth here in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Only a couple years old, established in 2020. They uh, hope to grow the sport of football, as we know it is soccer here in the U.S., uh, bringing the game loved around the world to children here in Waukesha County. Now let's get to our Andrea Williams, who is along the parade route. Hi, Andrea. Hi there, you are with a small business owner here in downtown Waukesha. This is Bolita, and she is the owner of Moxie's Beauty Lounge. And I couldn't help but notice as we were walking by, you have the blue lights up. You've changed everything in your salon to blue. Talk about the special meaning behind that. Um, well, the community chose, <laughs> I'm sorry, the community chose blue as the color to, um, represent us being strong and I thought being a small business owner downtown that we should participate so we hung the blue lights and ornaments and we all gathered here together again this year to be strong and watch the parade. Watch the parade that's what you're doing and, and they're doing it in a nice warm space and I thank you all so much for welcoming us in and uh, it's back to you guys it's all about that small business. All right, Andrea, thank you very much for uh, sharing some of the thoughts of the businesses here in downtown Waukesha with the special Waukesha Christmas Parade this year. Yeah, uh, a lovely float from the Steaming Cup just rolled by there, one of the coffee shops located down here uh, in the Main Street Historic District. Nice to see that roll by. Next, we'll have the Salvation Army Emergency Disaster Service uh, trailer. Of course, the Salvation Army is always on call when disaster strikes. The Salvation Army of Waukesha has been serving Waukesha County since 1894. And uh, it seems as if there are fires, uh, major disasters, members of the Salvation Army and the volunteers are there to help. And they've all become Merry reindeer, Christmas. it looks yes. like. <laughs> Those are quite the balloons yeah. on people's heads. I love it. That's They must have some pretty good balloon animal artists in their group right there. And oh, these are beautiful dancers. These are members of the La Perla Tapatia USA. They're from Kenosha. Um, and it's a group in general of 20 people total, traditional folklore dance. And uh, they've been in parades and events in Kenosha. They were in the 4th of July parade there. They were part of Hispanic Heritage Month events in Kenosha. 
um, uh, and they are here this afternoon in Waukesha saying that they really wanted to be part of this event. So great to see so many different people coming out to celebrate yeah. this year's Waukesha Christmas Parade. And I promise you, once again, everybody, before we leave the air here on TMJ4, we will make this parade official as you will get to see Santa Claus roll through the streets of downtown Waukesha. Yeah, Mrs. Claus is here too, ah, I hear. So, uh, they do travel together. They do. It's a, it's a date night for them. <laughs> As we continue to watch uh, the Christmas parade this afternoon, the Waukesha County 4-H Manuka Club is here as well, uh, saying hello to the large crowd that has come out to mark this event. And their tree lit up in all those blue lights. Blue is uh, the color that has signified Waukesha strong over the last year. So many people at different points of the year turning on the blue lights outside their homes as a show of unity and support for the community here. Cousin Subs is in the parade this afternoon as well, celebrating their 50th anniversary, and they're based out of Menominee Falls, 95 restaurants across Wisconsin, Illinois, and Indiana, and they just had that new relationship with uh, Donald Driver. Yep. You I, know that guy, I, one of the most famous Packers players Donald ever. Driver with the 50,000 megawatt smile. Yes. When, he lights, when he he does that, he lights up the room. I hear they have better bread, Cousin Subs. Well, I don't They're cheese that's curds. The that's what I know. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese curds are amazing. <laughs> and uh, following up behind them, uh, the Christian Education Leadership Academy. Uh, this is a third through eighth grade private Christian Academy school in Pewaukee and they are also marching in the parade. And we have many crews along the parade route. Let's go to uh, one of them now. James Grow, hello. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm, uh, I'm doing a little double dipping. I know Shannon talked to them earlier, but we're at Oscar's Custard and People's Park. Yes, Fields Park, yep. Tell me about this float. This is one of the coolest floats. I yeah. love that it's a sentiment of peace on earth. Tell me about the yeah. float. Say it again, I didn't hear Tell you. Tell me about the float. I love this float. Well, it, it, Susie really had the brainchild for the for the earth. Yeah. And then she sent me a text one day and was like, Gary, we gotta be in the parade this year. We have to do it. And I said, yeah, I, we, we really do. So we came up with the idea for the earth and then we thought, how cool would it be to have it like almost floating on a, a magical forest? Um, and then, with uh, the, the blue hearts and you know the twinkling lights and all this right. kind of came together. You know, I think this is a really beautiful message with all the blues. It, it is peace on earth. It's coming together, loving one another. Tell me about this whole, like, what inspired you to make this? Well, it was based around the theme of the parade, and we wanted to give a big hug to Waukesha and still show respect for the victims of the Christmas parade last year, but also bring hope, joy, and the, the spirit of Christmas back to downtown Waukesha. We couldn't do it without everybody here today. So I think hope and joy is abounding here, you know, and it is nice to, you know, ride inside. I've been I've been walking a lot today, and it's been a lot of fun, but now to be sitting pretty, uh, you know, in the back of this cab, I'm going to, you know, maybe I'll wave to a couple of people, you know. Uh, hey, <laughs> so we're having fun. Beautiful, beautiful float. Steve, Susan, back to you. All right, James, thank you. This is the now Revolutions Twirling Club walking through five points right now. Some of them actually twirling fire through the air. And the lights on their batons are blue to signify Waukesha Strong. Now the Revolutions Twirling Club, uh, they offer instruction for boys and girls from two years old all the way up to 50 years old. Hey, Susan. <laughs> yeah. They're coming. Oh, who? The snowmen, Steve. the snow people. Oh, yes. We the were snow able... family. We get to see them walking down in the parade. We saw the backs of their yes, snowball heads earlier. And this is coming with the uh, Waukesha YMCA Y Adventure Guides. They have an entire snow family with them today. So the YMCA, they have father-son, father-daughter program catering to dads and their kids in kindergarten through seventh grade with all sorts of activities and fun things. Looks like some of the dads are out here uh, helping carry the heavy loads. <laughs> 
Let's get to our Andrea Williams, who joins us and continues to make friends this evening. Hi, Andrea. Oh, Cassandra. Okay, let's go to Cassandra. Yes, I'm here in the square. Just take a look at the crowd. This is not a 70 degree night and yet and still people are out bringing their own warmth, warmth and energy with them. The parade, I guess, is about three quarters through and people are out just loving it. I'm even loving the decorations. What are we looking at? Uh, Taylor's uh, uh, restaurant across the street here. I'm standing by this cool guitar which says that girls rule and boys drool. And I thought that I would do a quick audition for the Dancing Grannies. No jokes, people, but I'll be in the group before you will. So give me a quick, give me a quick step here. Okay, one, two, three, kick. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> What'd you think? Three, four, and then some L's here. And then some L, all right, all right. <laughs> I got it. Next year, I might be shaking and getting down with the grannies. This is Betty that we're talking to. And don't forget to smile to the crowd. All right. I've got my merch. Thank you so much, Betty. You're welcome. I'm going to pass it back to you, Susan and Steve. I've got my marching orders. I'm going to smile to the crowd. Smile <laughs> to that crowd. <laughs> Rule number back to you one, guys. Cassandra. I love it. Thank you. This is the Waukesha Old Car Club, started back in 1978. They're a group of antique and classic car enthusiasts, and they know how to deck out their rides. Yeah, they not only love time. to have, they not only have fun, but they also contribute to uh, as many as six local charities every year uh, to benefit different organizations in Waukesha County. And behind them is the Dance Tracks Dance Club. Uh, they have people dancing with them from ages 6 to 65. Uh, they were a first-time participant in the parade last year, and uh, they were uh, in the middle of so much of the, uh, the, uh, the chaos and trauma of last year's parade. So we are so happy to see them dance tracks back in this year's Waukesha Christmas Parade. Yeah, they shared with us that it was extremely traumatic when they found themselves in the fray last year, but despite the events of that day, they said a large number of their dancers were interested and wanted to return back here in 2022. And so we welcome them and it's wonderful to see them and this evening. We've heard that from so many people mm -hmm. this year that it was important to make sure that good triumphs over evil and they had to come back and be a part of the parade this year just to help make that point. And following close behind them, they brought in the Marines. You know, the Marines are known for one thing this time of year, and that is Toys for Tots. Uh, Toys for Tots and the Marine Corps have been tied together for decades. And it is so great to see the United States Marine Corps walking in the parade this year. And they say they are proud to support the families of the Waukesha community. All right, we have more crews along the way. Marissa the Wallace, yep. we're going back to Marissa one Hi, more Marissa. time. Hi, Marissa. Hey guys, yes, uh, we are still done with the parade, but this is pretty much the part where everyone's like, you know, taking a, a sigh of relief or thinking, man, I just walked the whole way. But then these girls behind me were super ecstatic, and these are some Girl Scout troops from around the area. I'm gonna pick you, tell me your name, and tell me what was your favorite part of the parade. My name is Emily, and my favorite part was probably just chatting with my friend, Peyton. Oh, chatting with your friend, and your friend is, what is your name? Peyton. Peyton, and what was your favorite part of the parade? Probably when, probably when every, uh, I got to see everyone. Yeah, very cool. Okay, and uh, you guys again, really loud at the end of this. How did you keep the energy throughout this entire parade route? Okay, so what we did is we just tried to be happy and or we were just very excited. Yeah. And <laughs> that, and that would just kind of make us more louder oh than the God. rest of everybody. Oh again, gosh, well I absolutely love the energy that you guys have and obviously a lot of people that were involved in this parade today had a lot of energy including of course the storm changer too. It's just really great to be part of this parade. Thank you so much. Let's uh, give one loud cheer as we headed back out to Susan and Steve. Give me your loudest we scream or cheer or whatever. We should Woo!
Marissa Wallace and making new friends. <laughs> she does that very well. We have the Diamond Dancers sponsored by Generac making their way through let's five take, points. Let's take a look at what they're shaking. jackets and big smiles. Following the Diamond Dancers, uh, I'm sure a lot of us are relying on them this year to make Christmas happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your United States Postal Service. <laughs> Who hasn't been to the post office here, you know, in the last couple of weeks and probably going many more times in the coming days, Who right? does not rely on their postal carrier to make sure several of those gifts land on the doorstep in time for Christmas? But most importantly, yes. the United States Postal Service handles all those letters to Santa. And so, they make sure they get to the North Pole on time. Sorry about that, Steve. And also this evening, any of the kids who are here at the parade who have their letter to Santa written. They can hand it off. Right, they can actually hand it off. Now that's a special delivery. Wonderful letter carriers, and they will make sure that Santa gets their letters of wishes and requests for Christmas. You know, maybe if you're a very uh, good boy or girl, you might be able to get an audience with the big guy himself because he is not far behind the postal carriers. Uh, as we see the reindeer leading the way, got some reindeer games going on right now, walking through five points. Is Rudolph there? Do you I see do, Rudolph? I do not see a glowing red nose, no. Dancer, Prancer, Comet, anybody? Looking so festive and happy. You should hear the crowd here. I don't know if you can hear how ha excited they are to see the reindeer walking down a Main Street in Waukesha. They know what follows the reindeer, and I'm not talking about somebody with a shovel. They Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus is back there somewhere, and we'll see him shortly. Right behind the reindeer are all of our friends at the Waukesha Freeman. They've been uh, covering the community here in Waukesha for a long time. And uh, they're a big part of this parade this and every year. And uh, the folks at the Waukesha Freeman are also the sponsors of the float that's right behind them. And it's the big moment right there. All right, do you see, oh, there he is. Santa is here. Mrs. Claus by his side, help, helping him get some work done all season long as everybody waves and cheers Santa and Mrs. Claus. Santa's looking good this year. Yes, he is. Uh, he's been bulking up on all those cookies and milk <laughs> in preparation for the holiday season. Santa. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Santa. 
hey, I'm actually running along with Santa. Santa, have I been naughty or nice? Oh, I have to check my list. I have to check it twice. But I think you're going to be nice. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. You heard it there. The exclusive with Santa here at the Waukesha Christmas Parade. Santa, how does it feel to be here again? It's amazing to see all the kids and having a good time and bringing the spirit and joy of Christmas to Waukesha. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh. You heard it live here on TMJ4. Santa Claus wishing us all a merry, merry Christmas. Steve and Susan. And it sounded like Santa promised you something nice and shiny under the tree this year, Shannon Sims. So <laughs> you, you're aiming for the nice list. Yeah, tell Santa you've been good this year. We will vouch for you, Shannon. Thank you very much. So good to see Santa and Mrs. Claus at the Waukesha Christmas Parade this year. What an evening it has been here in downtown Waukesha as uh, this community has come together to overcome the tragedy of 2021 and uh, set off this holiday season on a fresh foot in a new direction as uh, this community that is Waukesha strong has demonstrated that just so perfectly tonight. So many people have said in the last year that it is important to them that they come back and have the parade this year, uh, show a victory for themselves and the community that they have persevered and are moving forward. And we see con people continuing to march through the streets, uh, following behind, uh, well, this is the Postal Service right here, but following behind Santa, we've got a bunch of uh, scouts who are gonna be cleaning up the streets, doing their good deed for the day, making sure the streets of downtown Waukesha are as clean as they were when the day began. Yeah, we wanna give a shout out to Scouts Troop 159. They'll be doing the job of cleaning up and working hard to make sure the streets of Waukesha return and to be as clean as they were before. Andrea Williams is with the, the Postal uh, Service right now. All those letter carriers who are gonna get those letters to Santa. Hey, Andrea. Hey there, Stephen. Of course, what would we do without our postal carriers and all the hard work they do we appreciate them we're keeping up with little Remy here she's driving the mail truck and you know she's doing a great job we just got to kind of see she stops and goes when she wants but this is Robin who is a mail carrier you have millions of pieces of mail that you will be delivering during the holiday season uh, we're interested in knowing what goes into the hard work when it's cold raining whatever you're working, right? Yes, we're very dedicated to delivering the packages, the mail, and keeping people happy. And what's it mean for you all to be a part of this wonderful 59th parade? Um, we like representing the post office and re representing the positive that it puts into the community. Yeah, and that you are doing. Love that outfit. And back to you, Susan and Steve. <laughs> All right, Andrea Williams, thank you so much for your live reporting today. It's been wonderful to watch the floats go by today and the positive messages from so many of the people in the Waukesha Christmas Parade this year. The resilience in this community is something uh, to be proud of and for something for everybody uh, out there watching us tonight to, uh, to take to heart very much as this community has rebounded from last year. It's a uh, wonderful way to kick off the Christmas season and the holiday season in the Waukesha community. We would like to thank all of you at home for joining us for this year's Waukesha Christmas Parade. And thank you to the small army of our coworkers at TMJ4 who have brought this to you. Thanks for joining us today, everybody.